Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool stacked text effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have here, we're just going to go with a new composition 1920 by 1080 pixels at around about five seconds in duration. The next thing that we need to do is we need to add some text on our screen. So I'm just going to write my word. I'm going to write Raiders. And then I'm going to come over here to my character and I'm going to choose my font. I'm going to pick Azo Sans Black and then I'm just going to bump up the size to about 200. Now you can experiment with your own settings. I'm keeping the colors at white. And then the next thing that I need to do is I just need to come over here and align that to the center of my composition. So there we have that. The next thing that we need to do is we need to come over here, right click pre-compose that layer and I'm just going to call it text title. And now we've got that, what we need to do is we need to duplicate that and we just need to call it, let's say text top uh, one and then what we need to do is press P on our keyboard for position set a keyframe here at the start of our um, timeline and then move forward to about 15 frames and then what we are going to do is we are just going to write minus 100 and so if you've done that correctly you will see what is actually happening here so now we've got that simple animation moving up and all we need to do now is repeat this for the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take our main text title and I'm going to duplicate that. And then I'm just going to call it text bottom one. And then I'm just going to press P on my keyboard for position. I'm going to set a keyframe or a stopwatch to start there. And I'm going to move forward in time to 15 frames. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write plus 100. And so if you've done that correctly, you will now see that the two text uh, layers are now coming up at the same time. And that's looking pretty cool. So what we need to do is we need to come over here and we need to easy ease these keyframes. And then we're going to go to the graph editor. And what we need to do is just we need to bring those points to the middle. So now we have a nice smooth animation. And we're going to do the same for the bottom position keyframe. So we're just going to right click, go easy ease. And then what we need to do is just bring them towards the middle, just like that. And now we have that. So that's pretty cool. So now we're going to move on to the next step. So now that you've done your animations for these two text layers, what you need to do is pre-compose them. But when we go to pre-compose, we need to move all attributes to the new composition. And so I'm just going to call it the same name, but I'm just going to make sure that I move all the attributes into that new pre-composition. And so now once we've done that, what we need to do is we need to move the text title to the top and we can have these underneath. So now the next thing that we need to do is we need to come over here and click on our text top title and we need to come over here and create a mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a mask from the top and then I'm just going to make sure that it cuts off a little bit of that area over there. Now you want to try and get this the same on both sides. So what you can do is just make sure you're on the next uh, layer and then you can come over here and draw that mask and then just try and roughly eyeball it. So, and if you want to adjust it, you can move the mask up and down by pressing on the arrow keys. So let's say for example, I've got that straight line. I can, you know, come down maybe two or three and then I can do the same for this one. So I can set it up on top of the text and then just bring it up, you know, three times on the arrow key. And so once we've done that, then all we need to do is duplicate this again. So now the next thing that you need to do is we need to duplicate both of these. So now I'm going to just rename this one and I'm going to go back. And I'm just going to call this one two. And I'm going to call the bottom one as well and so what we want to do is just press P on the keyboard for position 
and I'm just going to bring this up a little bit. So I'm gonna write, let's say negative 80. And then once I've done that, I can press M on my keyboard for mask, and then I can bring up the mask as well. So I'm gonna do the same thing again, find out where it sits on the line, and then just bring it up three presses on the up arrow on my keyboard. And so I'm gonna do the same thing for the bottom one, all right? so. This time we are going to write plus 80 and then I'm going to press M for mask. I'm going to line it up. And then I'm going to press down three times. So one, two, three. Okay, cool. And then so we'll repeat that again for the final one. So I'm going to take the text top uh, number two and then duplicate that again. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press P on my keyboard for position and I'm just going to minus this number by 60 and that's gonna bring that up and then I'm gonna press my mask. I'm gonna make sure that I hold shift and find that alignment and then just press up one, two, three, maybe four and then do the same thing for the bottom number three as well. So I'm going to write plus 60 okay and then i'm just going to find out where that mask point hits and then i'm just going to press down one two three four and then that's looking pretty cool so now we've got this nice animation that all comes together but it all comes together so what we need to do is we need to make sure that we are staggering all of these um layers so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make sure that the top ones will start, maybe we'll move them in, let's say two frames. And then the next ones will come a frame after that. And then finally, the third ones will come a frame after that as well. So now we've got a nice stacked text effect that's looking like that. And that's looking pretty cool. So now once we have all of that, we can come over here into our main text comp and then we can come over here and change uh, the text here to have a stroke. So let's say we put a stroke of five and if we go back into our main comp, you can see what actually happens here. So now we've got this really cool kind of uh, outline effect. But now let's say uh, we wanna, let's undo that we want to just copy that first before we turn the stroke on. So now if I go over here and turn the stroke on, let's say I bring it to five and then I go back into my main comp and I can just paste it in there. And now I've got that really cool effect there. And we can change this up a little bit more as well. We can come over here to our text uh, number three layers. We can hit uh, T on our keyboard for opacity and just bring down this opacity to let's say 60% and we can do the same for number two and this time we'll bring it to let's say 75% and now we've got this really cool you know like uh, it starts off a little bit lighter over there and then it comes back down. So now it's looking pretty cool so what we can do now is we can just pre-compose that entire thing and we'll call it um, main we'll just call it main comp and then we can come over here and add a new solid for the background okay now you can use a picture if you like but what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the gradient ramp so now I've got my gradient ramp all I need to do is just import some colors from color hunt so I've got my colors right here and all I need to do is just change these colors to whatever I'm happy with and I don't need that anymore. And now we've got like a really nice background with this really cool stacked text effect. Now the last thing that we need to do is we just need to make sure that this um, loops in and loops out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring back the timeline to roughly around that point there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate that again. I'm going to move it forward in time. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and go to time. 
and then go to time reverse layer. And so now the text comes up and then it will go back in there. And so now we've got like a little animation that lasts for roughly around three seconds. So anyways, that's about it for this uh, tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.